coming into Southern California and Arizona at the beginning of last week. We did see daily record rainfall set last Wednesday in both San Diego and Los Angeles, and it was feet of moisture from the subtropics that persisted through the entire length of this storm. Record rains in Phoenix last Thursday, almost an inch and a half set a daily record rainfall, and then the moisture plume moved eastward. Widespread flooding in eastern Kentucky, eastern and central Tennessee, and northern Alabama in the Friday through Sunday time period. We saw our first tornado confirmed on Saturday afternoon in Jones County, Mississippi. Then as the storm moved into the colder air to the north, we saw significant icing both Saturday and Sunday, the lower Ohio River Valley and the Carolinas. Five to six inches of sleet, Charlottesville, Virginia area, Sunday and Monday. And then the big snowstorm in the northeast. New York City, fourth largest snowstorm on record in Central Park. Boston, 27 and a half inches, the largest snowstorm in modern weather records. And Baltimore, Maryland, a preliminary number exceeding 25 inches would also make that, if that number stands, the biggest snowstorm in recorded history in that city. It was President's Day Snowstorm Part 2, this sequel even bigger in terms of total snowfall amounts than the original in February 1979. Now back to the studio. Okay, as we look through some of these numbers, February has been a big month for big snowstorms. 50% of the uh, top 12 snowstorms in New York City, month of February. Also, Philadelphia and actually Boston and Washington, D.C., more than 50% of the biggest top 10 snowstorms have been during the month of February. Here in Boston, 27 and a half inches of snow from this storm. That places it number one. That is ahead of the storm in 78, where you had... 27 inches of snow, um, so we're now at the top of the list. New York City, storm total at the park, about 20 inches. That eclipses the old record by about two and a half inches. Also at the park, this is the fourth largest storm on record way back in 1947. That was the biggest with 26 and a half inches of snow, so this storm has definitely been historic. For you in the Northeast, uh, big snow totals uh, all the way from New York State, Massachusetts, Connecticut, all the way down into Maryland. Some of the totals around D.C., anywhere from 16 at uh, Reagan National over to Dallas, about two feet of snow. It's also quite windy with this storm. Back over to New York City, some of the gusts around 50 really allowed the snow to blow up around pretty good. The Northeast, we have there's still some snow coming down today. Most of it's over with around New York City as the storm moves away, although back into Maine, you're still getting a pretty persistent flow coming in from the Atlantic. So if there's any place around the country that will get accumulating snow, it would be the state of Maine. You can see the picture here where back into southern Maine, just a large area of a steady snow, nothing too terribly heavy for the most part, but uh, it's steady. Around New York City, snow starting to break up and the last flurries heading across Pennsylvania and New Jersey, weakening as they head right across New York City itself. Up toward the Connecticut Valley, still a little bit of light snow and even points far. Two and a half inches to this time of the year. Thus far, though, in this wintry season, that puts us way over the top there with our 49.7. That's incredible, their total thus far for the year. In the Northeast, <laughs> City, uh, about a Fourth largest snowfall total ever with this big storm. Nearly two feet fell on the city. Mayor Bloomberg says the storm will cost the city an estimated $20 million. That's about a million dollars an inch is the ratio they usually use for cleaning up New York. So again, even a little bit extra snow makes a big old difference. When it comes to really a... The task of the day for people from Massachusetts to Virginia. It's back to work for many who had President's Day off, but it won't be easy. Many roads are still buried, and even though cities like New York have been running snow plows nonstop, all 6,000 miles of roads there weren't cleared in time for this morning's rush hour. Mayor Michael Bloomberg urged patience. This morning, it's going to be a rough commute, but everybody will get there. Just remember, we're New Yorkers. Federal government workers are putting that commute off one more day as they've been given an extra day off. Most local governments and school districts in the Washington, D.C. area are following suit. Public transportation is still spotty, and cities need more time to clear streets. Today was supposed to be Jason Tully's first day at his new job for the D.C. government. I don't show up at 9 o'clock, and we'll see if anybody's there, so. <laughs> Maybe you ought to talk first, honey. <laughs> Going to work isn't even an option for thousands of air travelers stranded at airports around the country. Canceled and delayed flights caused long lines and even forced some travelers to spend the night at airports. 
The worst blizzard in seven years brought more than snow. In all, the storm has caused at least 20 deaths, including one person who died when this roof collapsed in New Jersey. And some people are struggling through all of this without power. Thousands of homes and businesses in Ohio, Kentucky, and West Virginia are affected. Live in Washington, Sonia Crawford, ABC News. Now back to you. Okay, now we're just digging out for what happened in the Northeast. Now more problems await. We could be seeing a lot of wet weather on the way for the Northeast. In addition to the snow melt, the extra rain, we might even have flooding concerns in a few days.